Hello everyone and welcome back to server again. So in this video, uh, in this video we are going to see that what happens when we run the very first program known as hello world in our docker container environment. Okay. So whenever we run a command docker run hello world. So what happens whenever you execute the command. So that command is executed on your docker client. So docker client connects with your docker server docker server finds tries to find out whether do i have hello world program or not if it is not available then it connects with your docker hub it fetches program for from docker hub and it downloads the local Im image on local server and after that it executes that as a container so let us see this particular thing happening in uh, action so let me run the command docker Run. Okay, let me show you that whether we are running any container or not docker ps So we don't have any container uh, Whether in any background, so we don't have any container running even in background. So now we can run a command docker run Hello World so okay, what it did is it fetched okay first of all it checked whether do I have any image here or not so yes because I had already executed this command once before. So, uh, hello from Docker. If you see this message, it means you have successfully executed this hello world program. This message shows, okay, you can read the information here. So, uh, this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. It means your Docker container, is, your Docker is working fine. To generate this message, Docker took following steps. If you are quite new to this, so obviously you should read this message once that Docker client connected to docker daemon it means docker server then docker daemon pulled the hello world image from docker hub as i have already explained to you within this like once docker client connects to docker server docker server will pull image from docker hub yes then after docker hub daemon created a new container from that image which runs the executable that produces the output you are currently reading. It means the particular image of this from this Docker app, which was downloaded as Hello Hello World. So that contained this particular printable item, as you are as we are reading here. Try uh, to try something more ambitious. You can run Ubuntu container with this this command. So if you wa really want to run this, so let us try to run this this container as well. So let us copy this command and let us paste it and let us see what happens. So unable to find image Ubuntu latest locally. So we don't have that, that image currently available on our server. So that image is being downloaded. So as you see multiple layers are being downloaded. So once this is downloaded, so only after that we shall be able to run or we shall be able to execute multiple commands inside that container. So let me explain you in a while like Docker is the particular uh, your Docker command then after run it it means interactive uh, interactive terminal we want and the image is going to be of ubuntu and after that bash so whenever the particular container will be executed so we want to run a bash shell inside that so if you see here we are logged into a container and we are on slash if you run couple of commands here cat slash etc issue so if you see here then ubuntu uh, 18.04 has been downloaded and that is available for me if I press Control uh, D, so obviously I will exit from this container. If I run this, if I check this container now, ps docker ps is the command to check running container. So nothing is available. But if I run docker ps a, then I can check two containers now. The, both the container are in, are in exit status. One container was for two minutes and one container is for 13 seconds. So it means if I want to uh, start or if I want to reattach this, so I can. So let us see this thing happening in next coming sessions. So till then let's take a break. See you again in next session. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel as you will be able to find new videos. Thank you very much.